one free and one yeah. nine. Oh, brilliant. Good on you. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for keeping us safe. We, we really appreciate it. We no, we do. Because this is the safest place on earth, London. It should be. It's one of the nicest places. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, one of the and the population isn't dense. It's one of the less dense cities in Europe. Still places, as you see, still places where there's no... No, but even in the built-up areas, the housing isn't dense. No, it's not. There's no. lots of room to build within the building to fit everyone in. So no. let them come. Let, the, let them get some money so they can go home to Bulgaria and build their own farms. <laughs> There you are. Not often do you see police walking around, they usually go around in a car, which is intimidating, because I cycle around here, and there's a very few paths you can cycle on, and if you go off the beaten track and they drive up to you, they demand you stop. They can find you 60 quid. Wow. And in the summer, you'll see the kids lying in the, on the grass with their food and weed and bikes lying down and the police come up to them and harass them. The Queen doesn't care, why should we care? God, she's spending millions a year, billions in her lifetime buying everything, going, being fitted in new dresses every second day. If I had your money, I'd be in. in the tailors, although I'm too fat now to cut a figure. So hopefully uh, YouTube can uh, stop the uh, wobbles from my walking. So there you go, I've just started my new career telling those police officers or constables that uh, you've got to get your children out into the environment filming and learning as they go and this is the way to do it because it's just a little matchbox camera then they plug it into their computers when they get home and the public and their parents can watch with where they've been going and exploring I grew up in Christchurch we had a creek you know uh, with concrete sides, you know, storm drains, because they bought some land off the Maoris and didn't know it was a swamp. And so they had to drain it with these creeks, and I'd play in the creeks, see the, nat you know, the nature living in the water. And uh, just recently, there was a magnitude 8 earthquake, and we discovered that it wasn't a swamp, it was a sand pit underneath Christchurch. And when it shook, the sand liquefied from being, you know, a pile of sand. When you make a sand castle, it's strong, isn't it? You can put, some, put a flag in the top. There, that's what... Why, why aren't you all here? Come to the park and play. It's free. It smells beautiful and the birds are chirping away. Do you know why the birds chirp early in the morning when they wake up? When a bird goes to sleep, it grabs hold of the wire and as it sits down, it claws, you know, to, uh, like pliers and just grab hold of it so they can't fall off in their sleep. All these things for you to discover yourself. So when they wake up in the morning and discover they're still alive, they start tweeting. I'm alive. <laughs> I don't think that's true. They're just happy to be alive. Anyway. So be happy that you're alive. You're one of the luckiest millions that weren't born to be born. Out of all the seeds that daddies make to make babies with their mother's eggs, their wives' eggs, there's millions that miss out. You're one in a million just in your family. 
that could have been born. You don't know how lucky you are. So you have to go and study these things at school and university to work out what it's all about. But don't get depressed, for goodness sake. Find out all about it first. Then you can decide whether you want to be alive or not. But you can't decide with no knowledge in your head. It would be stupid. So uh, it's too expensive for me to get into the um, botanical gardens at Kew. Huge park with all the species for you to discover. It used to be 10p. Everyone could get in. Now they make it 20 pounds. The madman stopping us having our park. It's our park. Every public amenity has to be free to enter, just like the health system. It's free to enter. And then if you want extras, like cosmetic surgery, you have to pay. And it should be for all things. Transport should be free. Now the airlines, Ryanair, <laughs> he adds on a... You have to pay £40 for your bag on a £10 fare. He's going to try and get his fares down to zero and you just and you can fly for nothing as long as you don't spend any money and you don't take any bags. Just wear 10 pairs of clothes on top of each other and off you go. <laughs> when, I don't know why I'm telling you this, I don't know who's listening. <laughs> when orange, when uh, the orange uh, for easy jet started, I went to Nice on one of the first flights for a hundred pounds. It was a magic time in those days. No extras. <laughs> Simple, cheap flights. Somebody comes along and ruins it for us all. I was looking at a. At a Travel agent today. She wanted to know, ask all these questions. When do I want to try travel and dates and everything? I said, no, just give me the price for the next few months. And so she finally did. Etihad, 690 pounds between you know November and February to Brisbane, where I'm going to go to go yachting and uh, with Kevin, and uh, if I can get him away from his family for a week. And uh, I told her that the, the, the way I got here in, two th in 1979 was you, you, we have these you know, alternative books on how to survive if you don't have any money. We had them back then. And they recommend that you don't go into the main office of a travel agent, you go to a branch in a small town. So I was in, I wasn't in Sydney, I was in I've forgotten the name of it. What's this? Canberra. So there's one tourist office there, a travel agent. So I went in and said, I want to stop over all the way to London and around again. Not return, because I'm going to stay. Oh, look at me. And uh, she gave me a six, 16 tickets, one on top of another, to tear off for each leg of the journey. So I had 16 stops. I paid 20% extra, so it was still 50p a mile. Cheapest travel ever. And so I went to change it, and they said, I'm sorry, you've paid too little. We'll have to charge you another $200. And that was what they recommended. If you go to a small agency, the girl will make a mistake. You'll get a bargain. Why aren't you learning all these things? So don't go to, it's too late now, they, all the airlines have colluded together to restrict your flight, so I have to pay 600 with no stopovers, it's nonsense, that's not travel, that's you know, being put in a coffin and sent to another part of the world, that's not travel, you've got to stop over and see the rest of the world underneath you. So start your own ticketing system, start your own airline and give us back what we used to have. 